Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I see or oh no, it's me, your girl. Yeti. Okay, if you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you for joining. And if you're returning, thank you guys for always sticking to me, your girl. Thank you for supporting me. So I love you guys. Thank you. So in today's let's go to business. Okay. So as we all seen on medias, on in news, I know everywhere you go, you know, Instagram, everywhere you know, we all know what's going on in Nigeria. We all know what's going on all over the world, wherever Nigerians are, about a protest going on, you know, the new Nigerian, the new birth. So in today's reality chat, I've got a guest all the way from Nigeria, one of the protester. So I would love to hear from him. I would love to hear his own view, what's going on, what exactly the government had doing to, re, you know, to retain or regain peace of the country. So, and if you're interested to learn more, to know more. So, as you all have been saying, and you know, for the slogan, Soros, okay, okay now, Soros, okay. So let's go in Soros, okay. And let's see what we have to say in this reality show. So if you're interested, keep on watching and let's dive in. reality child again it's me your girl yes yes you don't know so the guest we have today is uh, mr blessing all the way from nigeria as we all have been seeing on all media platform in news everywhere about what is going on in nigeria including we that are in diaspora as well taking part in the protest i've seen some people on social media asking that oh what's going on in nigeria oh i don't know what's going on well when did it start blah 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 and i'm like okay so it's something to bring someone all the way from Nigeria that is part of the protest as well, that is fighting for the betterment of the country, to speak about it, to enlighten people what exactly is going on in that country. Most especially, we in diaspora that we have no knowledge or detailed knowledge of what's going on in Nigeria. So thank you so much, Mr. Blessing. And because I already had CK from all the way from Riverside. So to start with Mr. Blessing and then guys, before I dive in, don't forget you can also to Mr. Blessing on YouTube. He's a YouTuber, you will love his platform. So to get connected with him, check out the comment section and description section for you, you know, for his YouTube and so you can connect to Thank you so much. So let's start with Mr. Blessing. To start with, what led to the protest? Okay, what actually led to the protest was the killing of uh, the Yahoo boys, the one they call Frosters in Nigeria. Uh, they attend, they attend the Yahoo boys. So at, it happened in Delta State, Ugeli. Uh, they killed about seven to ten of them, and uh, they used to be angry. And uh, this is not the first time they've been reporting about the death of uh, the police force killing our citizens. Uh, SARS is. Uh, a part of a operational unit in the police force, which oh. is termed the special anti anti robbery squad. Yeah. So when they killed those fellas in Ugeli Delta State, yeah. the youth were angry. They they got a truck and they had to put the coffins of the fellas, all of them, on the truck, and they drove around the entire city and said uh, they are going to kill any policeman that they found there. So. The uprising took another turn in the 36 states of the country, Nigeria, started protesting. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. And then um, I heard, I'm not sure if that is at River State as well. Um, uh, I heard over the media that, you know, the government, or maybe I'm not sure, maybe the Oga at the top, they tried to make use of hoodlums, you know, to scare the protesters away. Does that happen in your side as well? Yeah, like um, yesterday, uh, the protesters, we are peaceful protesters. We are not fighters. We're not fighting with arms or those kind of stuff. So our persons went to CBN, the Central Bank of Nigeria, yesterday at Abuja, and uh, they passed the night. Yeah, they passed the night over there, I think with the candle section as well. But uh, Towards the midnight, hoodlums came um, trying to uh, fight with them. Yeah. In every state, we discovered that there are certain hoodlums that are coming to fight. Now, we are all Nigerians, so I don't see 
a reason why hoodlums should come fight us because we are not fighting them. We we came out of a peaceful protest. So we feel that uh, some of the scrupulous elements in the government, uh, the persons sending the hoodlums to actually come fight us. Wow. Yeah. So, but, uh, you know, from our own perspective, because if people are, you know, you know, protesting, people are protesting peacefully. So what, what now led them into making use of woodland? Because that will lead the peaceful process into something else. Yeah, uh, I think probably uh, they don't want the globe to have a different perception of what Nigeria is, you understand? And uh, I think probably they know they can't use force on us because it has never been like this in Nigeria before where every youth have one single voice, you understand? Because in those days, if if they come, if youth come out for protests and we found that someone is killed, we will all run back to our houses, we all run back to our shells. But this time the spirit is different, that you kill one, thousands will come out. So I think they had to start using the hoodlums to kind of cause chaos so that uh, the military could come in. Oh, I get it. So that's their tactics. So, and in real estate, um, how is it going over there? Are people still out protesting as well? And how is the situation? Is there a police force out there trying to chase you guys out, you know, back to your homes or, you know, how is it going? Oh. Okay, in River State, uh, the protest is going on in River State, but it has been a little bit calm because um, the governor uh, has one time had issues with the sacks as well. And, uh, like the, the, like the governor said, he has want a time to the federal government that uh, those persons are not doing well. This force, this special anti-robbery squad are not doing well. So uh, when we had a protest, uh, Tatcha of the Big Brother celebrity, yeah, she came from Lagos and joined the protest as well. So where the, we all went to uh, uh, the government house, though I wasn't among that movement then. So yeah. they all went to the, to the government house and the governor came and addressed the youths. So in River State, in River State, I think they are trying to schedule the day of uh, their protest as well. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then what is the news about um, the news about um, from SAS to SWAT? What is that? What is the game of SAS and SWAT? Because I know they said the government came out and they were saying, you know, um, now they have a SWAT and there's no more SARS. What's that game all about? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the police inspector, I think he lost it. Um, okay. Yeah, he lost it because we are complaining that SARS. Yeah. It's, not even up, it's not even up to a week of we protesting and you come out with SWAT. You understand? Yeah. We're talking about tactical teams that respect lives. You know, yeah. in every in every engagement, there is a rule of engagement. You can't just send in people to come and say that you've created a team called SWAT. You understand? I think uh, the police should be held, the inspector should be held responsible. Now you created a SWAT team. Have you trained them? You understand? Mentally, they're supposed to go some kind of training. You don't just get people from the street who you've not known their record record and you put them into the police force and they end up killing us you understand so now now we are ending the SWAT we are ending the SAS before the SWAT comes to play we we're already trying to end it end but it. uh yeah but I, I discovered it seems they are taking a U-turn trying to go train uh, some policemen that will actually uh, come and uh secure the country but the truth is we want the entire police force to be reformed oh. okay. yeah and then um, have you ever had um, any harassment with the sas because um, i was speaking with a colleague of mine as well she's based here in highland okay. um she told me i experienced with a husband that you know they would travel down to nigeria they live in Bini, so they would travel down to Bini in you know and then um, okay. there was a particular time, and this has happened to them twice. One to her with the okay. husband, and the other one is just to the husband alone. The first one is there, 
um, luckily they travel down with their ID card all the way from here. They have their ID with them. So they stopped them and it was trying to like ask them that, okay, um, can we check your phone and oh, and the next know what's in your wallet? And they saw a couple of money and they said, oh, what are you doing with this? A lot of money. And the next said, I don't know, I'm yeah. not big here, I'm just here on holiday. And um, they yeah. actually showed them their ID. They said, okay, what job are you doing over there then? You know, they actually showed them ID. And another one that happens to the husband, again, he forgot his wallet. And they, you know, they started harassing him, but luckily, there was a soldier mining there close to their house that they know their husband. They had to stop and to like talk to the police that why yeah. are you arresting him? And you know, the situation. But have you ever had experience like that? Yeah. No. Well, I think I'm, I'm among the few millions of lucky Nigerians who haven't uh, had a uh, had sacks. But for the policemen, I've, ha- yeah. I've once had an harassment that, that was in Delta State. Uh, Ogara, the former governor of Delta State, Ibori's hometown. So I was going for work, and uh, in the morning, I was with my laptop, and the policeman stopped me and uh, was trying to search me because yeah, there's a lot of Yahoo boys and posters there. So he he was like, I was like, why would you do that? You don't just see me with a laptop and you feel I'm a criminal. So does that mean I'm not going to have a laptop because there are a lot of Yahoo boys? That's kind of stuff. So I was so angry and I, I flinged my hand and hit him on his jaw, actually. So they were like, oh, you want to fight the policeman? I said, no, that was a mistake. So they immediately handcuffed me. You understand? I was ready to go to the police station then because Imagine. that was an harassment from, yes, you understand. But over here in Port Harcourt, I've not had any incidents, but over time to time, I've heard people saying, close person saying that um, SARS with hold them and will even take them to the ATM machine and will draw their money. If they see you with an expensive phone, they will tell you to open your phone and they will start going through your privacy. You understand? Mm. It's, wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got to that extent. It got to that extent. So that means we shouldn't carry big devices because <laughs> <laughs> when, when, we, when, when we meet them, they will definitely term us as prostars. But that's just yeah. it. It's yeah, terrible. That is extremely, extremely, and I saw some people as well. The issue of maybe um SAS just using maybe in terms of you know overusing their power. Sometimes they can just shoot anyhow. Sometimes you know some people they complain about maybe their family has been affected with stray bullets due to maybe SAS shooting or spray. You know, I don't know what. Yeah. You have, like I said, they are not trained because, yeah, they are not trained you and you go to people's houses and have them understand. They've been doing that. They'll come harass you with guns. You understand? Just like you said about that lady, if the soldier man wasn't there, I'm telling you that those SARS guys will do whatever they want to do. And if you don't, like some, some person said, that if you don't really uh, do what they ask you to do, they, they may end up shooting you. It got to that extent, yeah, yeah. You know, it, so it's now, scary just because I, I mean, you know, kudos to the new Nigerians, you know, to the youth getting their priorities right to be able to yeah, protest Nig- now. Because it is scary yeah. when you live in a country, you know, a country you called your own country. You can't even live with peace of mind. What about if you travel to other people's country? Would they treat you well? Would they even care about yeah, your Nigeria. life? Exactly. We, we are blessed in this nation, but uh, I think the government have taken us so lightly that uh, they treat us like animals. Uh, because I, 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 I don't see a reason why the security, which is supposed to protect life, are now the persons that we are afraid of. You understand? So now we are talking about SARS, but we are terming that SARS to be the government itself because we were, we were saying SARS should end. We we're actually saying that bad government should end, not just yeah. SARS. Yeah. A um, few days ago, we launched our radio online. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, yes, to make our voice to be heard all over the world. So we launched, the youth actually okay. launched a radio online. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so okay, something like that. Yeah. 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 
And ever since this protest has been going on, because I know here, you know, in, let me, you know, in diaspora here, if something like that is going on, you know, the government would have come out, maybe the prime minister, you know, to say something, yeah. to try to regain peace with people, to try to tell them, OK, even if they're not doing much, they can say, oh, OK, we are working on this thing. We're going to make things work out. Is there anything the yeah. president is doing or, you know? Yeah, this is not the first time we've been complaining about SARS. We, 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 I think we've, we started doing this about more than three years ago. I tried to tell them this is what they've been doing. But you know, our government will just be quiet as if, probably because it's, it's not affecting them directly, so they don't really uh, care, you understand? Why uh, it's been this way? Because the president has not even come out to say something yeah. uh, valid, you understand? Why it's turning out this way now is because the youths are taking it to a different level. Like uh, today in Edo State, been in city, uh, they blocked everywhere and made sure that there was no movement. And uh, according to the news online, we discovered that they released some inmates from the prison today. Really? The protesters. Yeah, it, it, it has got to that level. It has got to that level. So uh, what we're trying to push the yeah. idea to them that they've not been really doing well for our nation in Nigeria. Yeah. I know aside from the SARS issue, which you already mentioned, you know, we need to, you know, the government to be reformed totally from all the way from the presidents because we all are seeing exactly. in the, you know, unemployment, you know, things keep getting expensive. Exactly. You know, you know, yeah. like um, I think I bumped into one of your posts, was it like, was it a, a tomato paste or something like that uh, from 16 Naira yeah, to 120 uh, naira. I saw uh, one of your posts like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The tomato 16 era, 15 era. It's now so you can imagine that it's terrible. And uh, if you discover the president has been uh, mm. a section kind of person, you know, we have three major tribes in Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> so I know some people are saying, okay, um, some say it's okay. SARS brutality, their extortion, their misuse of power is due to because so the, go, um, the government are not paying them well, they're not giving them good salary. Does that make sense? Uh, the police has been commercialized. Yes, the police is being commercialized because I don't see the reason why the police force should be on checkpoint collecting money. Mm. Every Tazi that passes from one state to another, or you're going anywhere, you see police on the road taking money from drivers. And uh, according to the news today, we heard that even those money that they take from driver, it gets to the commissioner. So in we there are a lot of times that police has killed persons because of 15 era. So it has got into that level. So the police force is being commercialized already. They're supposed to protect us now. They are they've turned to tax collectors collecting illegal money and nobody's talking about it. It's really disheartening. Because um yeah. someone was saying to me as well that whenever if you are in, in ATM, you know, ATM and you're trying to get up, you can easily stop you at the ATM, check you, like your card to see how much you have in your card and withdraw money or use POS. Yeah. That some of them even have POS. Some of them are going with POS. Jesus. Yeah, and you know we 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 are trying to do this kind of cashless economy. So most of us will leave our money in, in banks. You understand? I will go with our ATM cards. So when they hold you, they will ask you to get your ATM card, and you they will, they will draw money from you. It it has been like that. So when you see the kind of protest going on right now, you will discover that every family has really gone through police brutality. <sighs> It's really sad. So we just hope the president or the so-called president, because someone was comparing the president to Trump. And I was like, excuse me, the level of education the, that Trump has, you know, you can't compare it with um, the level of education or whatever, you know, the way Buhari has been trained. Definitely yeah. they can be, you know, of similar age, I don't care, but you can't compare their levels of education. No, and that, no, that, no, you, know, you so. can't. You can compare the education level of Donald Trump to Buhari. Now, Donald Trump is enlightened and uh, an educated person yeah. and a businessman, the president of the most powerful country in the world. 
You understand? Yeah. Trump, Trump has always been one of the person I do support. You can yeah. never compare that because uh, Trump made some kind of uh, campaign promises before yeah. he got elected. Not even up to six months, he has done more than 50% of that. You understand? But my president, Buhari, <laughs> some of his promises were yet to see them. Some of those campaign promises, we are yet to see them. So uh, and there was a time that uh, PDP was kind of complaining that uh, our president doesn't have certificate. Wow. The YX certificate, which is the elementary certificate as a graduate in Nigeria. Wow. So you wouldn't you wouldn't compare someone's educational qualification with Donald Trump because I've never seen where uh, the Congress in the US yeah. will be saying that Donald Trump doesn't have a certificate to confirm them. Definitely. Yeah. So it's clear, it's vivid, it's visible to the world to see. What do you expect? You can really, I'm sure you you can reflect back on this when he had um, a conference. Is is it like um with um Trump that he called him? Um, is he a lifeless cop or something? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it, was a, it, it was definitely a disgrace to my country calling my president a lifeless person. Right. I know Donald Trump. And Donald Trump could. Yeah. <laughs> Donald Trump could say some kind of naughty words sometimes, you understand? And I remember Donald Trump calling my country a, a shithole. Really? Yeah, that's the extent we've sold our dignity out. Exactly, that is where our country is. You can imagine that we are not respected outside. That is why yeah, even exactly. when we're in diaspora sometimes, when any little thing happens and they see that, okay, oh, it's black people, they all believe that, oh, he's yeah. in Nigerians. Or oh, Nigeria. Yes. That's the way they look at us. It affects yeah. our image. Yeah. They actually I'm not in support of fraud stars. Yeah. I'm not in support of fraud stars. But uh, the government has drived youth into doing this because I don't understand 90% of Nigerian graduates are not working. Okay, if you say we should uh create our own jobs like uh, be self-employed where is the money to do that the economy it isn't smiling on mm -hmm. us the, yeah. uh, to really do that you understand so on the other hand you discover that some of us they follow through the sea through libya to europe some die on the sea they prefer dying on the sea than dying in their country so you get it and uh, when something happens like that, they feel any crime that is being committed outside the shores of the country are Nigerians. You understand? So sometimes most Nigerians in diaspora, they don't claim to be Nigerians because of the image we have. And we are trying to redeem ourselves for such image. Really bad. So I just hope you know the president will also come out to come out to address the nation as well. At least, hopefully, because we're still waiting for him to come out. But I haven't heard any news. Maybe yes, come out to address the nation about what's going on or not. Yeah, we're waiting. We're waiting because uh, the protest has been on for more than a week now. Yeah, with exactly. Different, with different candle section in Lagos and other states. Yeah. If on uh, Sawolu, the governor of uh, Lagos State, yeah. he, he, he joined us, he joined our youth over there protesting last week. So we are, we are hoping to see what the president will do. And I, I think uh, it's going to go down history, what we have done to redeem the yeah. image of our country. Yeah. 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 And I know during this protest as well, I've been seeing that maybe a couple of lives have been lost as well during the protest as well yeah um the, see we embarked on a peaceful protest you yeah. know there was a time there was a time that uh, there was another protest for biafra for the country to be divided okay yeah these persons were also on a peaceful protest but you see they sent the military to the military to keep persons the soldiers to keep people now we are on a peaceful protest. And hoodlums are attacking us. Are we protesting against the hoodlums? We're not protesting against the hoodlums. We're protesting for the betterment of everyone in the country. Yeah. 
So why would a hoodlums come to attack us? Exactly, that's it, exactly. Yeah, so that means there is someone sponsoring that in the government. Yeah, because the hoodlums can't just come out on their own, definitely. There is a government person sponsoring them, financing them. Sponsoring them, them. Yeah. yes. We are not going with guns. We are going out with our cries. Mm. But they are coming with their guns to kill us. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I would just have to say is that, as in, it's um, kudos to the youth out there, you know, protesting, and um, we hope all our, you know, hard work and everything pays off. And um, to all the youth out there, I know we all have peaceful protest protesters. We should continue protesting peacefully because I came across on Twitter about some people saying, okay, you know what, they are coming with guns, they are coming with this to attack us, but we also need to like to be buckle up. We need, you know, to have the G as well and to be able, and I was like, no, 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 you guys don't need to go that way, you know. Yeah. So that's my little yeah, advice it, to out there, you know, yeah. just with a peaceful way. It's a, it's a great time to be alive. I'm so happy to see Nigerian <laughs> youth doing this. I know, yeah, it's, it's a, a new baby It's a great boss. time because, because um, the protest is not only going on in Nigeria, it's going on in diaspora. Exactly. I think I saw, yeah, I saw a, a, a clip of uh, protesters in London. You understand? Yeah. So anything that affects Nigeria affects Africa and, part, and the world. Exactly. So it's yeah. really a great time to be alive and yeah. being a youth. Yeah, it is, yeah. it is. So I just pray, you know, the new Nigeria, we all aspire and we all been praying for because I can remember when I was a little girl, my parents used to say, oh, Nigeria will be better. You know, what? I'm, I, go, I am still here now. Look at me growing up. I'm still thinking Nigeria will be better. When exactly. Will be better. Nigeria is already getting better. We're standing out to protest already. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever we are, yeah, whatever we are doing now, we are doing it for our children because we want yes. them to see you as a different Nigeria, not them singing the same ringing tone and saying Nigeria would be better like the way we do. We don't want them to sing that song. Yeah, you will see. They always say that uh, youths are the leaders of tomorrow. Yeah. But these old men that have been ruling since who we are born. Yeah. We are now youths, and we are trying to become old. They yeah. are still singing that old national item that you are the leaders of tomorrow. So we think we've taken, uh, how will I call it? We've taken the bold step yeah. to stand up and take our future. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Which is so, so, so good. So, Lacey, I'm so, so happy to have you on my platform, on my platform, Miss Blessing. So thank you so much for joining us and thank you so much for sharing your views and thank you for joining in with the protest as well you know as the young youth we all are fighting for the betterment of our country and then you yes. will be better and we will great again so mr yes. blessing say one word to your fans on youtube because i'm sure they will see you as well and also yeah. tell us your youtube and um, link your channel link so at least we can connect with you people can connect with you <laughs> exactly i i will do that yeah, so yeah. we're listening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, uh, Isicheli B, that's my YouTube channel's name, Isicheli B. Yeah, okay, and you yeah. all hear that, Isicheli B. But in case if you're thinking, how will you spell it? Just check the comment section and check the description section because I will be putting his link directly. Just click on that link. And it will take you to his YouTube platform. Get connected with him and you will love his platform. So thank you so much once again, Mr. Blessing, for having you guys. Thank you. And guys, thank, thank you, you for joining. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click that red button and click it. You know what? Subscription is free. Just click that and stick to your girl. And don't forget to check Mr. Blessing now. Thank you and see you on my next video. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.